Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, you know, we won't waste any time, we'll just get right into the painting. You can see that I did a painting here that's still drying with these three colors, light blue, red, and yellow. So we're just going to reuse the colors because I still have them open, so why put them away just to open up something else right now? Because that painting actually turned out really good. If you haven't seen it, go watch that video, maybe I'll put a link in the description. So today we're going to try something a little different. I've, I don't think I've used one of these spatulas for um, my dabbed paintings, so we're going to try it. I have a prediction it's not going to work out well, <laughs> but um, the reason I don't use like sponges or um, some other things for these dab paintings is because they absorb too much of the paint. Um, you know, I could probably do a balloon, the balloon smash thing with a dab technique. If you want to see that, put a link in, or put a comment down below just if you want to see that. Or maybe give me some suggestions on uh, flat items that won't absorb the paint and maybe we can try it. So anyway, um, I've already got these primary colors out. Light blue, light red, light yellow. So let's just go ahead and get on with it. So we're going to go ahead and start by putting our, our paint uh, in different areas here. And I think we're going to need a decent amount, but I don't want to put too much. You know, always every time I put too much, then it starts to pool into the center of the painting. We don't want that. We don't want that. And I'm using watercolor paper, Canson, I believe, watercolor paper. Yes. And I have a sheet of acrylic uh, underneath to keep it flat that I've taped it to. So just so it doesn't move and it'll give us some some edges so that uh, you know we have some clean edges all right so we're going to put our three colors here and we'll put a lot of blue up there just a tiny bit around the edges all right so we've got our paint and i think for the yellow i'm just going to do a little bit more right there just to kind of give it a little pocket and so now we're going to take this and we're just going to kind of dip it into different areas and we're going to take this paint and spread it to different areas on the canvas using this little spatula. Now this is like a, I think it's like a cooking spatula. Um, I think it's for cakes and stuff. So we're going to take that, put that in there and it's really squishing the paint down. And I think the advantage to doing this is that I can kind of fill in the, the gaps pretty easily doing this. So I need to get some of this red out. There we go. Okay, so you know what they remind me of? They look like little band-aid designs or something. Or little skateboards. Okay, so I'm still trying to get some of this red out. All right, so we're gonna bring that up there. Look at that. Squish that, squish that, squish that, squish that. And you can see that the red's already starting to move towards the center because the paper's starting to warp. I swear, this paper, no matter what I tape it to, it, it just like warps. It's like as soon as I put the weight of the paint on there, it starts to warp. I think it honestly is because the paint that I use is so like wet, it doesn't have a lot of body to it, that it causes the paper to kind of collapse in on itself. So I think that that's the real issue. All right, so at this point, I'm trying to keep the tool the same direction. Uh, just to kind of give the painting some congruency. And I am tilting it back towards me a little bit so that um, it doesn't leave so much of the little 
rounded edge design, I guess. Okay, so I feel like it can use a, just a little bit more yellow. So I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow right here and here um, over the red to kind of break up the red. And then I think it could use just a tiny bit of blue down there. So we're gonna kind of use those and, and really just pull those colors out, even though I'm pulling blue into blue. So I'm not sure why I did that, but it is what it is. We're just messing around kind of with this one. So put that over there. that in and then we're going to pull some of these other colors out all right Looks like we've got it all covered. Uh, there's a spot right there. And a spot right there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda pick it up and drop it to kinda give it like the splattered look. Okay, so it's done. All right, so we're gonna pull the paper or the tape and see what it looks like. Um, I think just looking at it, I don't. I'm gonna move these over here to get them out of the way. I think just looking at it, I don't like it as much as I would the normal dab paint, and I think it's just because. They're thinner lines. I don't know how to explain it. And looks like I missed that part right there. A couple of little pockets here. My glove rip. Oh no, it's the paint that I saw. That I saw my skin poking through. Uh oh, get off of there. Masking tape can be a challenge sometimes. Okay, let me just check and see if there's any white spots. There's one right there, so we're going to cover that. And I think the rest is good. Okay, so let's take a look at it overall. Um, I don't hate it. it. It's okay. I don't like it as much as the other one I did that was the real dabbed painting. So this is this is the final piece and kind of get low so you can see the whole thing. And maybe I'll back up and take a snapshot. I can't because the light. All right, I'll just show you guys. All right, so this is kind of the detail on it. It does have a little bit of like the flame look to it, only a little more structured, I guess, because it's in lines. Um. Overall, I, I don't hate it, but 
I don't like it as much as this one. So this one, if you haven't seen that video, has a lot more color splotches, I guess, and it has the little, you know, the little waves that I try to accomplish when I make the paintings. So it's got that. I really like that one. Don't hate it, but not a fan. Oh, well. But, I mean, we're just kind of messing around, so not a big deal. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's it for the video, guys. If you have any suggestions for other things I can try to dab with, because kind of the dab paintings is my thing, then uh, leave them in the comment section below. Not porous materials, uh, because they tend to just absorb the paint. We want something with a flat surface, or maybe even a slightly rounded surface, so that we can try to almost stamp these paintings and see how they turn out. But anyway, guys, and if you have colors, uh, suggestions for colors as well, you can make those in the comment section and I'll see if, what I can do. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.